Hello everyone, my name is Yevashni Kala and in this video I am presenting our research on accident prediction on expressways using clustering and predictive models. This study identifies conditions that can lead to traffic accidents and develop predictive models to implement proactive measures. And coming to the background, traditional approaches to road safety and traffic management are often reactive, addressing incidents only after they occur. This approach can lead to higher accident rates and increased traffic condition. To tackle this issue, we aim to develop a robust predictive model for expressway accident risk. By leveraging historical incident and traffic data, we use clustering and machine learning techniques to predict potential risk before the accident occur and coming to the study site and data our study focuses on Tokyo Metropolitan Expressway with data collected from 2015 to 2021. We received traffic data from the Metropolitan Expressway Company Limited. The data includes traffic detector readings on road segments called sections including average velocity, vehicle count and occupancy aggregated in 5 minute intervals. Additionally, road features such as section length, number of lanes and curve radius were considered. We also used detailed accident data which provides information on crash characteristics and spatiotemporal data. To begin with, we applied the k-mean clustering algorithm to group accident and non-accident samples with similar characteristics. The features used for clustering include curvature, curve classification, vehicle count, average velocity, vehicle kilometers traveled, number of lanes, and the number of vehicles involved in the accident. Using elbow method, the optimal number of clusters were determined. And after that, we developed predictive models using random forest classifier. This approach constructs multiple decision trees for accident risk prediction, which help improves accuracy and prevents overfitting. We perform random undersampling to begin to balance the accident and non-accident classes. The data was split into training and testing sets and separate random forest models were trained for each cluster. And coming to the results, using elbow method, we applied k-min with three clusters. The diagram shows the classification of clusters with different traffic velocity ranges. Each cluster represents a group of samples with distinct traffic and accident characteristics, enabling more accurate risk prediction. Our evaluation metrics include accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Here are the results for each cluster. This high accuracy rate indicates that our model is effective at making correct predictions, notably including curvature as a feature suggests that roads with sharp curves are at higher risk of accident. For future development, we plan to develop this model further to predict the risk of accidents for any given traffic condition on the expressway. This proactive approach can help identifying high-risk areas and implement preemptive measures, ultimately enhancing road safety. In conclusion, our research demonstrates the potential of using clustering and machine learning techniques to predict the accident risk on the expressway. By transitioning from reactive to proactive approach, we can significantly improve traffic management and road safety. Thank you for your attention.